Now that we have got the garter stitch portion of the square, the part down by the leaf, sewn together with mattress stitch, let's look above that at the other textures. We'll find like here in these passages where we actually see these tiny little columns of stockinette. Now the good news is that mattress in these isn't going to be any more difficult than it was below. We're going to continue taking the same sorts of stitches, but instead of uh, taking them through garter bumps, we're going to be taking them through, as you can see there, the center of a knit stitch. And having taken the stitch there in the center of that knit stitch, we will look for the equivalent center of the knit stitch, one stitch in from the selvage, and take a stitch there. Go back to the other side and find, oh come on, now bring that down. So yes, there we go, another stitch through there and finish up with another stitch through the other side. So you can see in the stockinette portions, what we're doing is taking stitches through the middle of a stitch. There will be a thread that's running behind the two legs of the stitch. Take your, take your stitch under that. Now above that, we have these welts of reverse stockinette. For some reason, the focus on my camera is drunk today, so bear with me. Uh, but once again, it's going to be the same thing. The, the, the key uh, idea behind mattress stitch is that we want to always look for one thread, um, usually running kind of horizontally, and we take a stitch under that, and then we look for the equivalent on the other piece that we're joining, one horizontal stitch there under that, and that when we are looking for these horizontal stitches, we want to be generally about one stitch in from the selvage. We aren't taking these stitches right into the selvage stitch. That's going to just give us a neater and stronger appearance. So that's the stockinette and the reverse stockinette. Now up here, we come to these really pretty and interesting slip stitch patches, but man, do you get like an interesting selvage there. You know, what, what do we do? Well, what we always want to do is keep in mind that fundamental principle. Um, we don't want to take stitches into slipped stitches. Those are too loose. They aren't going to hold fast. We dig around. We look for a horizontal thread just in from the selvage and take our stitch there and do the same thing on the other side. You know, this isn't an exact science. There's no way that any booklet, video, class can ever show you every kind of selvage you might encounter. So when you find yourself in a situation with something a little bit wiggy like this, keep that basic tenet in mind. We are looking for a horizontal stitch about one stitch in from the selvage, and we are going to try to take our stitches consistently so that we get this effect.